During a huge storm on the 9th of February 1861, a Whitby lifeboat capsized, throwing the crew overboard. Only one member of the crew, Henry Freeman, survived. The great storm wrecked more than 200 ships on the East Coast. The Whitby lifeboat crew launched five times to rescue stricken vessels, but on the sixth launch, tragedy struck. A freak wave hit the lifeboat, which capsized and all but one of the crew were lost. The sole survivor of the tragedy was Henry Freeman, who survived because he was wearing a new design of cork life jacket. Henry was awarded an RNLI silver medal for the courage and determination he displayed that day, and later became the Whitby RNLI coxswain for more than 20 years, helping to save 300 lives in that time. On the 9th of February, 1861, the people of Whitby awoke to a terrible gale. By 8.30 a.m., the lifeboat crew had launched their first rescue, successfully saving the crew of the John and Anne. Not long after they returned, they were called out again to assist a schooner, the Ganna, who had run aground. After their second successful rescue, the crew celebrated with a glass of grog at the station. At 11.30 a.m., the Clara was seen heading for shore, close to the wreck of the Ganna. The lifeboat crew rowed out to rescue the crew, and the ship broke up shortly after they left the scene. The crew each had another drink back at the station, feeling tired and hungry from their exhausting morning. Two more vessels were spotted coming ashore, utility and row. Once more, the lifeboat crew rowed out to save both crews. Spectators began to gather on shore to cheer the lifeboat crew. They returned at midday and took their third glass of grog. By 2pm, the violent gales were still at full force. Harbour master, Mr Toes and coxswain, John Storr, decided that if more vessels came in, they would not respond. The lifeboat would be of little use at high tide. Shortly afterwards, the Flora and the Merchant were spotted in trouble. The Flora successfully glided into the harbour, but the Merchant ran ashore. Although they'd agreed not to respond, the Whitby lifeboat crew couldn't stand by and watch the Merchant sink. As they manoeuvred towards the stricken collier, a powerful wave caught the stern of the lifeboat, capsizing it and throwing the crew overboard. A huge crowd watched helplessly from the shore as the crew struggled in the fierce sea. Sadly, all but one of the crew drowned. The sole survivor was Henry Freeman, who was on his first call out. His life was saved by the new design of cork life jacket he wore, donated by the RNLI. The newly introduced cork life jacket designed by Captain Ward had been met with some resistance by the crew. Had they been wearing the cork life jackets, it was likely they would have survived. Henry Freeman was born 29th of April, 1835 in Bradenton, Yorkshire, he moved to Whitby in 1855 to become a fisherman and join the lifeboat crew. After the 1861 Whitby tragedy, Henry was awarded an RNLI silver medal for his bravery. On the 29th of October 1880, a huge storm, similar to the one which caused the 1861 lifeboat disaster, affected the northeast coast. Henry was involved in four rescues that day, for which the RNLI awarded him a silver clasp for his medal. Henry became Whitby RNLI coxswain for over 20 years and helped to save 300 lives in that time. He died in 1904, but his legacy lives on as one of Whitby's most renowned lifeboat crew members. So please donate to the RNLI. Thank you, guys.